very clever traffickers were able to lure you into a situation like this. And that that just alone to me is just so sobering and alarming. So you you survive this horrific experience. And then there's there's the aftermath, but then eventually the videos themselves drop online. How do you find out about that and how does that hit you? So, well, just to touch on another point that you had just said uh, that, uh, yes, I come from a a normal middle-class Christian Southern family. It It is just to say that it could happen to absolutely anybody. I had plenty of friends. My The underlying common denominator between myself and all the other victims is that uh, we were insecure. And I, I mean, just to kind of, I think that's such a human thing. It I mean, is. We all, Especially as a, te- as a young girl or a teenage girl. Yeah. It reminds me of this quote that I heard from a pimp one time who said, he, he, he said, we eat, sleep, dream, you know, thinking of ways to recruit girls into doing what we want them to do. He said, they have no chance against guys like us. So for people who are of a malevolent predatory mindset that are out scanning social media, re- looking for people to recruit, they're going to find an insecurity because it's just part of the human condition. So I'm just saying that to kind of, I don't think you were, there, I don't think there was anything wrong with you. I don't think there was some like no, uniquely insecure thing that made you a, a target or that you're in any way to hold responsibility. It was just, yeah. And um, I was human. So if you feel comfortable, I would like to ask you about the moment when the video drops and the realization of, oh my God, this horrific experience that I went through was not only filmed, but is now being presented to the world. I I just... I remember exactly where I was. Uh, Again, I had moved um, on the drop of a dime to the other side. Well, not the other side, but I had moved to Texas um, very sporadically. Again, I have a very close-knit family. So it it was very odd that I did that. Um, but I just, I was scared. I, at that point, I didn't know what they were capable of. Um, and it wasn't part of their business scheme, but I didn't know whether or not that they were going to come back after me. And they had my address. They had everything about me. So I, I didn't know. I remember exactly where I was, uh, when the video dropped, um, or when the video was at least leaked and, I began getting this outrageous influx of text messages, phone calls, um, Facebook requests, um, all these, just my phone was blowing up. So when it came down to it, the first initial text message that I received was uh, something along the lines of, oh, that's why you moved. And then I started getting more hateful things um, of from ex-boyfriends or uh, from sorority sisters laughing um, a, like in the about the situation. Um, one of the text messages, the harassing text messages that I received was, and this is not for the faint of heart, dirty, nasty slut. You can't make a hoe into a housewife. I'll make sure to send this to your future kid's school so everyone can see how big of a slut their mom is. Sure hope you don't have a boyfriend because I'm about to ruin your life with this video. I'm about to send it if I ever find him. Oops. Are you going to tell him or do you want me to? Imagine getting that blindly. Imagine that was at 6 p.m. on a Tuesday. The middle of dinner. Um, middle of family dinner. Middle of uh, just trying to survive another day and you get something like that. Uh, I was being sent uh, screenshots and videos and links. Um, I was even by the time at that time, my best friend even was like, I I don't believe you. I can't like, I can't be friends with you because remember I come from a, a, a good area, a good like group of friends. And so to have their parents telling them that they can't be friends with me because of this was was even more hurtful that the fact that their parents even knew it was just it was layer onto layer onto layer and i remember thinking to myself like 
how did this happen? How did this happen? Then it got to the point where somebody had even, at the time, Snapchat had a a campus story setting where you could upload videos to like a campus story. So whoever ran my schools that I had just graduated from Snapchat account had uploaded the video to the story. So thousands and thousands of people that went to a huge university in North Carolina were starting to see this. Those being my uh, my sister and my brother-in-law, who also had attended school there, uh, who were athletes there, they had were all starting to see it. Not only that, but my sister and my brother-in-law were just a month away about from being married. Um, they were about to get married. So now all the attention is off of my poor sister, who is supposed to be this supposed to be you know a, a her moment. And I uh, I backed out of the wedding so that I. It wasn't about me. Um, I remember even lying to my parents and saying that I had to work that weekend, that I couldn't I couldn't go home. You can check out all our podcast episodes, articles, and films at ExodusCry.com. And join the daily conversation by following Exodus Cry on all major social platforms.